over the last year, how we see the world has changed as well. We no longer see something free and easy. We see masks and two meter gaps. David Downs has autism. He's a professional artist from Essex and you can see his reaction to COVID in his paintings. This from Mike Liggins. Sadness, worry, sympathy for, for people that are directly, directly involved in being nurses and doctors, key workers, and people that are suffering, but the sheer magnitude of it and the shock. David Downs talking about how he's been feeling this year. Right from the start, he knew he needed to paint about the pandemic. I think it's a way of expressing how I feel with, with my struggle with autism and, and just whatever I've, I've done, I've, I've tried to get how I feel about the world into my art. At the start of the pandemic, his paintings were bleak, frightening even. The COVID-19 virus portrayed as casting a malevolent shadow over the world. One of his more recent works is this empty classroom. So the fact that the children are having home education, homeschooling, the parents having to teach them very, very difficult and stressful. David Downs wasn't diagnosed with autism until he was 32, but he always knew he was different. As a small child, he could draw before he could talk. I think it was just a way of communicating. It was a way that I saw the world. Um, through, through drawing. I think I just, it was a passion, it still is a passion. I loved doing it, and that was a way of communicating. From his studio near Colchester, David works in pen and acrylics. His new painting puts NHS workers and key workers in amongst blossom trees. It is much more optimistic. I'm just going to paint and see what happens. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself that this is going to be the piece. I think I've just got the idea of having, having lots and lots of cherry trees uh, and care workers and doctors and surgeons just sitting underneath them, thinking, my God, this is probably the most time we've had to reflect on what's happened since the beginning of the pandemic and sunshine and, and the spring. Like many artists, David has found it difficult to sell his work in the pandemic. He's hoping to have an exhibition at Snake Maltings in Suffolk at the end of May, early June. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East.